Hey y'all, welcome back to the Fire and Water Cooking Channel. I'm Darren, and today we're gonna do a rib cook on the pit barrel cooker. We're gonna do baby backs versus St. Louis cut. Yeah, all on the pit barrel cooker, no sous vide today. We're just gonna throw them on the pit barrel. I'll be right back. All right, guys, I'm back. And uh, I took the time and I, I went ahead and um, took the ribs out of the package and I went ahead and took off the uh, membrane on the back. Um, I cut them in half, I cut each rack in half because we're gonna use the Pit Barrel Junior again. And the last time I used it with a long uh, rack of ribs, they kind of got burned on the bottom. So I wanna try to avoid that this time. And since I'm only doing two racks, I got plenty of hooks to be able to cut them in half and um, hang them, hang four, four of them in there, um, four halves in there. So I can try to avoid the bottom of them getting burned since they don't, won't uh, hang too close to the fire on this one. I'm gonna season them both the same with some Heaven Made Products Texas Best Rib Rub. This is uh, another one of the rubs that Michael Petrie has sent me to test out from uh, Heaven Made Products. I haven't tried this one yet. So it's the Texas Best Rib Rub. We're gonna use that for both racks. We're gonna put them in the pit barrel cooker. Um, they're gonna cook for about three and a half hours or so, just right. We're gonna use a little bit of pecan wood and that's how we're gonna season them today. Real simple. I'm gonna go ahead and season both sides of these. And since we're not sous vide today, I'm just gonna let them sit in the uh, refrigerator for about you know, a little about uh, 45 minutes or so um, while the heat on the fire on the pit barrel gets up to temp. So I'm just going to go ahead and get these seasoned, get a nice even layer on both sides. And then we're going to let them rest in the refrigerator for about 45 minutes while our temp's getting up on the pit barrel. All right, I'm going to finish seasoning these up and I will be back all right all my ribs are in the refrigerator and it's sitting there and uh, brine a little bit in that uh, rub I'm gonna go ahead and get my fire going on my pit barrel junior have about 12 coals in the uh, chimney starter here and that's what they kind of recommend get my chimney starter fired up It's been rainy and cold out here in Tampa the last couple days. So, and I got some uh, some more coals in my uh, charcoal basket and a couple pieces of uh, pecan. This will take about eight or ten minutes to uh, get going, and I'll be back. Okay guys, um, remember when using these pit barrel cookers, either the junior or the large one, make sure you follow the directions on how to light the fire and the number of coals because they are kind of specific on how many you should light and how many you should have in the charcoal basket when you run these. So they are kind of particular since there's no other adjustments. Just make sure you follow the directions when lighting it and filling it up. That's it. Alright guys, I decided I am going to um, at least monitor the pit temperature today. I didn't do that last time because there's really no way to adjust the uh, temp on the pit barrel cookers except if you remove the um, rebar. I know that it lets more air flow through but I do want to kind of monitor it today so I did put a probe in there just to monitor the temp of the pit. I'm not going to monitor the meat at all. So right now it's reading 128. I just put stuck it in there right after I put the lid on. So. We're going to let that get up to over 250 or so before we throw the ribs on. So I'll be back when that hits temp. See you guys in a few. All right, guys, it's almost up to 200. And I'm going to go ahead and get these ribs on. I've got my hooks in there. And I'm going to remove this lid. Just hang them in there. one on each side here try to keep it away from the probe 
It's monitoring the pit temp. And keep it away from the side as much as possible. And that's it. Now we're just going to let them sit and cook. No adjustments needed on these pit barrels. They kind of self-regulate. There's uh, no adjusting the temp. You just kind of let them sit there and cook. So that's what we're going to do. Well, guys, I let them run for about three hours as I went to church. So this is what they looked like when I came back. Um, they had a nice color to them. They still weren't uh, quite done. Uh, looking back, I probably should have let them go for another hour. But as it was, I just let them go for another half hour before we pulled them. But uh, I think four, four and a half hours is about right on those. All right, let me pull another one of these off. Let's see how they're doing here. As you can see, they got a nice bark on it. And they're kind of pliable. The meat's pulled back a little bit from the bone. But I'm going to leave them on just for a few more minutes. I got the temp getting back up to around 250. So, got another couple minutes for my sides to be ready. So, we'll give them a couple more minutes on the grill here. Got them off. The pit barrel they're looking looking pretty good I just don't know how tender they're gonna be they've been on there for over a little over three and a half hours so looking kind of dry here I want to cut one this is the uh, st. Louis spare cut one here so you can kind of see that I'm gonna cut one of the baby backs see that well there's no sauce on these strictly that um, heaven made products Texas rib rub take a bite mm. pretty meaty on the baby back it's tender can't complain about it It pulls right off the bone. It's definitely not falling off the bone, but it's pretty tender. Pretty nice bite of the St. Louis. Like I said, it's another one. Mm. Good flavor on that rub. Well, guys, these ribs are pretty tender. They just, um, they're not fall off the bone, though. But I like them. Probably could have stayed on there another 20 or 30 minutes, but okay. But we're ready to eat. But I'm kind of partial to the baby backs because they seem a little bit more meaty. But this, um, Texas rib rub here from Heaven Made Products is really good. It's got a nice little back kick to it. A little sweetness. Mm. It's pretty darn good. But Well, these turned out a lot better than the other pit barrel cooker ribs that I did. So, I have to say, give this thing a try. It works really good on chicken as well. Mmm. Check out the Heaven Made Products Texas Rib Rub. Make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. Check out some of my other videos. Like, subscribe, share, and I'll see you again on the next video. Thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.